How's it going everybody? My name's Eric and in this video I'm going to show you how to solve this problem. Anytime you boot your printer up or you open the top and you close it, you have to press the button and it just starts spitting out labels, wasting labels, and it's just kind of annoying. It's just a settings issue. I know it's completely frustrating. I know it wastes labels, but it's just a setting. I'm gonna show you how to change those settings in this video. Specifically, we're gonna be working on a Zebra LP2844Z, and I'm also going to show you on a Zebra GC420D. This method will work on a lot, if not all, of the Zebra thermal printers. Because they use overlapping programming languages, we're actually going to be programming the settings in the printer as you will see in this video. I'm gonna show you how to do it on two drivers, the Siegel Bartender driver and the actual Zebra driver. So if you have either one of those, you can see exactly where you need to go in order to change the setting. This method is not just limited to these models, so hopefully this will help if your printer is printing blank labels. At any time during the video, there is an index in the description, so if you wanna jump straight to the Seagull driver and you don't even wanna hear me explaining it, just go down the description, check that index, or if you wanna jump to the Zebra driver, Go down in the description, check that index. It might save you a little bit of time. Before we get into the actual fix, I wanna explain a little bit why it's printing blank labels. Zebra has their printers programmed. Anytime you open the top or turn it off and on, it will do like a little mini calibration. They'll spit out a couple labels just to make sure that the printer knows what size labels it is by feeding a couple labels and like reading the distance between them. Anytime you open the top, they're just assuming that you're maybe changing a roll and they wanna calibrate to make sure that the label sizes are right. But it can be kind of annoying if you're opening the top or turning the printer on and off and it's just wasting labels. What we're gonna do is we're going to change a setting in the configuration. You can see your configuration settings if you hold this button down for one blank release it will print you a configuration label here is my configuration label right there it says head close and media power up and the setting is calibration we need to change that setting to where it says calibration to where it says no feed and that is what we're going to be doing in this video so with that long explanation being said thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up so more people can find it and solve their printer troubleshooting problems and keep their zebras from getting thrown out the window in frustration. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing and let's get into the computer because that's actually where the fix is and it's gotta be a Windows computer. So if you do have a Mac, I apologize, you're gonna need to have to borrow a Windows computer and install the printer on Windows in order to do this. So, sorry. So here we are on our Windows computer. I am already assuming that you have the printer installed. It's working. You're just annoyed that it's wasting labels and that's why you're watching this video. So go down here to your finder, type in printers and scanners, hit enter. You will find your printer in here. I have a ton of printers installed, so just ignore them. Here is my Zebra Designer LP2844Z. We're gonna go to manage. Then you're gonna go to printing preferences and click it and go to about this part of the video we're going over the zebra driver if you have the seagull bartender driver skip to the other part of the video with the video index in the description to get the step-by-step -step how to do it with the bartender driver so we're going to go to tools and here is a bunch of commands that you can send to the printer if at any time you need to calibrate or you have to reset the printer or whatever you need to print a configuration label you could do it all from here instead of from your printer but we're going to be sending a file to our printer so click on send file and you're going to have to click this dot 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 to browse for a file but you don't have the file yet so i'm going to show you how to get the file there is a link in the description to the file called download file here click that link and it will take you to this page. You're going to click this download button right here. It's going to download it. I just downloaded two copies of it because I already had a copy of it, but you're gonna download it right there. Now that you have the file, you're going to go to three dots. You need to navigate to the file. If your download downloaded to a downloads folder, click into downloads, or if it downloaded to your desktop, click into desktop. Or if you don't know where it went, you can open up the browser 
go here, show it in your folder, and it can tell you where it is. Mines and users, user downloads. So that's where we needed to navigate to. So you're going to click on that file and you're going to hit open. That's going to send that file, which has instructions to the printer. You're going to hit send, and then you're going to hit apply, and you're going to hit okay. If you open back up your printer preferences, go to tools, go to print, print configuration label, hit send. It will print you another configuration label. And now where it says media power up and head close, it is saved as a setting of no motion, which means no labels will come out. And I can show you turning the printer off, turning the printer on, no labels wasted, opening the head, closing the head. I get the blink, but as soon as I press it, it does not waste any labels. Sending that file to the printer, change those settings. You now should be good to go, not wasting any labels. Hopefully this tutorial helped. If it did, please give the video a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And now let's get into the bartender driver. So here we are on the Windows computer. You're going to go here to Binder. You're going to type in Printer and Scanners. Hit Enter. You're going to look for your specific printer. This one that we're working on is the GC420D, but other printer models will work just the same. Then you're going to go to Printer Properties, and this is where it tells you what driver you have. If you have the Bartender driver or if you have the Zebra driver, now you're going to go to Tools. You're going to hit Action. You're going to go to Send File to Printer, but the file that you need is in the description of the video. It'll say something like Download File Here, so check that link out. Click on it, and then you're going to hit this Download button right here, and that's what we're going to navigate from this tools action send file to printer button. Here is where mine downloaded to. I actually have two copies of it because I downloaded it twice for the tutorial. You're just going to click on that, hit open, and then hit okay. Now we're gonna print another configuration label by holding down this button for one blink. And if you look, if you look right here it says media power up head close no motion before it said calibration and we just changed the settings to no motion now if you turn your printer on it should not boot up and calibrate and waste labels you can always revert it back to factory settings but that is how you change those settings uh, it's a little bit of a workaround that i figured out these the file that we sent to this is just a settings file it's like four lines of code thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't already please give the video a thumbs up if you found this tutorial helpful if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.